Lenovo gave us the Y30 back in 2018 and uh, this was an incredible beast of a machine. 16 gigs of RAM, 512 SSD storage and of course the 8th gen Core i7 Intel chip. Now it's a 362 in one laptop, of course with the touch input they gave you a free Lenovo pen with it amazing now there's only one issue the screen was flickering a week later there's dozens and dozens of people who complained about it now there's one solution that we found on the internet two minute fix if you send it to Lenovo they'll spend a month with it send it back to you two weeks later you have the same issue and you will be going back and forth with Lenovo until date in Lenovo they haven't said anything about it they don't have a solution about it and they just discontinued the model however it's a beautiful machine and I fixed it. Keep watching and find out how.
right so this right here is the display cable so this connects to the display and all I have to do is to make sure it's loose enough and I'll just disconnect the display and connect it again just to make sure it's all good case uh, there is this rubber cushion which they placed there so this rubber cushion when you close the display that rubber cushion is over here this right here it, when you cover the laptop it pushes on this connection display panel so this needs to be pushed a little bit Pop the cable a little bit and make sure it's all in a good place. Something else I can do, maybe I can add a piece of cardboard just to make sure it's pressed properly to ensure no more movements. Just place that there and put back on.
when you think about two in one models, and of course, the 8th gen Sequoia 7 screens fit me. This thing came with four IFC 8th gen, 8th gen, the 8th gen Core i, the 8th gen Core i7 CPU Intel. The issue one of these to the one of these to the one of give the video one of these and a sub to the channel.